this is the new AirPods, the third. And in this video, I'll be unboxing this new AirPods. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to set it up for maximum performance. Let's go. So at first glance, this looks like any other AirPods packaging from Apple. You need to pull the pull tab, one on the top and one at the bottom in order to get inside the box. Once inside, you are greeted by this envelope which contains some documents. Once that's done, you can see the AirPods in its full glory. Now remove the covering and there you have it the new AirPods third generation. So my first impression is that this thing feels solid. It feels and looks a lot like the AirPods Pro, if I'm to be honest. It's got the same old lightning port for charging. And speaking of charging, this case can now charge wirelessly over MagSafe. But the sad thing is, the charging speed is maxed out at 5 watt, regardless whether you use a Qi charger or MagSafe. So don't buy a separate MagSafe charger just for the AirPods. An ordinary Qi charger will be just fine. And speaking of charging, the tiny light on your AirPods charging case can glow from white, orange and green. Green light! Red light! And here's what the color means. So green light when AirPods are in the case means the AirPods are fully charged. Green light when AirPods are not in the case means the charging case is adequately charged. Orange light when AirPods are in the case means the AirPods are not fully charged. This can happen when both the charging case and the AirPods have no battery in them. Orange light when AirPods are not in the case means the charging case battery is low. Flashing white light on the charging case means your AirPods are ready to be paired with your device. You can see this light when you press the back button of the charging case or after a reset when AirPods are ready to pair. By the way, no light when you open the AirPods case means there is absolutely no charge left. This can happen if your AirPods case was left uncharged at low battery for several days. And no light can also mean something is wrong with your AirPods. Now coming to the AirPods itself, this looks so much better than the second gen AirPods. I hated how the older AirPods looked with its huge stem dangling around my ear. But the new AirPods with its smaller stem makes it look cool and more fashionable. Not only that, these AirPods are much more rounder than the previous AirPods and have a large vents on their sides. And the grills of these vents are blacked out. All these additions makes this much more sporty. Overall, I really dig this look. I really do. By the way, did I mention you get a lightning to Type-C cable inside the box? Having said that, let's set it up. So for this setup, I'll be using my iPad Pro. You can definitely go ahead and use your iPhone instead. The settings are exactly the same on both the devices. So the first thing you need to do after you unbox is to bring your AirPods closer to your iPad, a bit more closer. Next, you need to open the lid and wait for the pop-up message and then tap connect. Next, Apple will guide you through the media controls. So if you're coming from AirPods 1 or 2, you'll be used to touch controls. But the new AirPods 3 have press control instead of touch. So here how it goes. To play and pause audio, press once the force sensor on the stem of an AirPod. To resume playback, press again. To skip forward, double press the force sensor. To skip backwards, triple press the force sensor. And press and hold to activate Siri. Next, after the media control tutorial, you will see this announce call and notification pop up, which you need to customize. So what it does is it announces the call and reads notification to you while you are using your AirPods. So I will tap on it to activate it. And if you have already set it up and later you decide to turn it off for some reason, you can do so by going back to settings, go to Siri and search, announce calls, then tap on never. And for notifications to shut down completely, go back, tap on announce notifications, disable announce when connected to headphones. For all of us who have battery anxiety, which is real by the way, you can check the battery percentage of your AirPods by adding the battery widget to your home screen. And to do that, you just need to tap and hold the home screen till it wiggles. Then tap the plus icon on the top left corner, then tap on battery. You can now choose the size of the widget and then add. So you want to know your AirPods warranty coverage. To do that, go to settings, Bluetooth, then tap the eye icon next to the AirPods and scroll down to check your warranty. So now in case you lose your AirPods, maybe it's under your pillow or under your bed, you can find it by going to find my app and under the device section, you will find your AirPods. Tap on it and tap on play sound. Your AirPods will start beeping and that's how you know you found your lost AirPods. Next, the main upgrade of this year's AirPods is the addition of the Spatial Audio and Dolby Atmos. So to enable it in the music, go to the settings, music, under audio section, tap on Dolby Atmos and make sure automatic option is checked. One more thing you should know about Spatial Audio is that 
It's supported in most of the apps including Apple TV, Netflix, YouTube and it comes in two major variations with head tracking and without head tracking. And if you want to enable either one of them, you need to open control center by swiping down from top right. Tap and hold the audio meter then tap on fixed it if you want spatial audio without head tracking or tap head tracked if you want spatial audio with head tracking. So we all know watching movies with friends and family can be a real headache sometimes, especially when it comes to volume. One will want the volume to be low and I definitely want the volume to be high. Now here comes audio sharing which comes in handy. So if both you and your friend have AirPods, then you can both connect them to the same iPhone or iPad and watch the same TV show together with different volume levels. Isn't that amazing? So to do that, go to your iPhone or iPad control center, tap the AirPlay icon from the top right and choose share audio. So this will stream the same music or TV show to two pair of AirPods, yours and your friends. And now for some advanced settings, go to settings, accessibility, AirPods and here you can change the press speed, press and hold duration and if you want to dive deeper, you can even change how your AirPods sound. And to do that, go to the audio accessibility settings, headphone accommodations, tap on custom audio setup, get through the quiz. And there you have it. You got a new section to tune your audio. You can now choose between balance, tone, vocal range and brightness. Tap on whatever sounds right to you and you are good to go. Speaking of sound, the new AirPods sounds much better than previous generation. And some might say it's even better than the AirPods Pro. So now the million dollar question is, is the new AirPods a better deal than the AirPods Pro? And to know the answer, click here to watch the video comparing the AirPods Pro versus the new AirPods and I will see you there.